Hey there, car nerds. Welcome back to MG Guy Vintage Vehicles. Greg here again with a new Fix Em Up Friday Project Vehicles video. You'll find links in the video description below for each of these vehicles. All right, let's get on with today's Project Vehicles for Sale. Alright, let's get started here with a 1979 Chevrolet El Camino, listed for $2,750 US in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's been driven 160,000 miles as an automatic transmission and a clean title. From the seller's description, selling my 1979 Chevrolet El Camino, the car is a 5.7 liter 350 small block V8 with around 80,000 miles on it. The chassis has 160,000 miles on it. The car starts like new, but does not go into gear 100% of the time because the transmission is slipping. The engine is healthy and the car is big as plus. I believe it has some sort of parasitic battery drain. The car will need to be towed out. I have new parts, including a new fuel pump, torque converter, front header panel for a 1981 El Camino LCI swap. I'm open to trades with newer German cars with cash on my end. Okay, here we have the first of two Mustangs in today's video. Here we have a 1970 Mustang Grand. It's a project car. Listed for $4,500 US in North Fort Myers, Florida. Its condition is listed as used fare and from the seller's description. Have all new interior and trim headliner and extra parts. Had a heart attack and I'm not able to get it finished. Has all windows with the exception of the front windshield. All exterior trim, grill and bumpers, trunk spoiler, also has original 289cc engine and original transmission. Does not run, did run six years ago. All right, here's one that's a little different. 1973 AMC Jeep mail truck. Listed for $4,500 US in Woodstock, Illinois. It has an automatic transmission and from the seller's description. 1973 runs and drives, title in hand, AMC mail truck, right hand drive, two wheel drive, Chevy bench seat, new carb, headlights, needs wiring finished, needs rear brakes. Open to trades. Alright, for this one, minimal details in the ad, but it appears to be possible as a running project. Here we have a 1968 Buick Skylark Custom, listed for $8,500 US in Daytona Beach, Florida. It's been driven, okay, 565,999 miles, has an automatic transmission, and from the seller's description. Runs and drives, bill of sale, bin is clean, needs top and bodywork. And here's another one that appears to be a running project, 1956 Mercury Custom, listed for $6,500 US in Vancouver, Washington. It has an automatic transmission, a clean title, and from the seller's description, finish my project. Runs, drives, stops, and is licensed with collector plates. Built on a 1999 Lincoln Town Car chassis with a fuel-injected 4.6 liter V8. Amateur two-tone 20-foot paint job with a metallic sparkle paint job on the roof really pops on a sunny day. Has 18 inch wheels from a Mercury Marauder. Needs a lot of finishing work, but a cool cruiser for a low price. All 
All right, with this one, you're gonna get two parts cars included. Here we have a 1958 Morris Minor, listed for $2,800 US in Havre de Grace, Maryland, and I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. And from the details, it's listed as used fare, and the seller's description. Three Morris, all 1958 convertibles, one with a 350 Chev roll bar, tubbed out, former Arizona bracket racer. The other two are standard, many parts, selling due to other projects. More details upon request. It's a 68 Mustang. You know, it's got a little bit of surface rust here and there from where the paint was flaking. I mean, for four grand, it, it's a project car, guys. It's been sitting for like 20 years. Alrighty, here's the second Mustang in today's video. Here we have a 1968 Ford Mustang Coupe. Listed for $4,000 US in Dallas, Georgia. Its condition is listed as used fare. And from the seller's description, bill of sale, project car, turns over, runs if it had a fuel pump. Body and frame are in great shape for the year. Driver floor pan needs to be fixed. Project car. Okay, this one looks great from the pics, but uh, when we get into this, you'll see why it is a project car. Here we have a 1976 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray, listed for $5,000 US in Warren, Michigan. It's been driven 80,000 miles, has an automatic transmission, and from the seller's description, needs motor, rod through oil pan. Very clean, neat, original car. The motor is matching VIN number with the car, clean green title. Rod through oil pan needs to be towed. And here we have a 1966 Plymouth Barracuda, listed for $2,500 US in Eckert, Colorado. It's been driven 83,000 miles, has an automatic transmission, and a clean title. From the seller's description, looking for a project car? This car is complete. I have all the glass, chrome, and trim. It does have rust around the fenders and the floor. The left rear quarter outer skin needs replaced. The interior needs serious restoration, as does the rest of the car. All in all, the car is straight, has a 225 slant 6, and it was running when it was parked. And last up, we have a 1980 Camaro Z28 factory orange car, listed for $4,000 US in Gainesville, Georgia. The condition is listed as used fair and from the seller's description. This is a project that needs a full restoration, but it is a harder to find Z as it came from the factory in orange with orange stripes, black interior, and a non-AC four-speed car. Exterior body is decent and probably 80% of the paint on the car is factory. 
It has had a driver's door replaced at some time and has some Bondo front center and sail panel on the same side. Front bumper cover looks to have been replaced at some time too. It has the typical floor pan rust and needs some pan work. The trunk pan is rusted through at the rear left side. Engine is an 80 model 350 with 882 heads, but not matching numbers. The four speed was long gone and has a turbo 350 in it with a B&M shifter. It does have two bad lobes on the cam, so we'll need a cam and lifters, but engine has good oil pressure and sounds decent. Trans fluid looks good and red as well. I have a clear Georgia title for it in my name. Price is $4,000 firm or $3,500 without the engine trans and you pull them. Okay, so that's it for today's project vehicles. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button below so you'll be notified when future videos go live. If you are enjoying my content, I've also set up a channel membership. You can click the join button below or the link in the channel description and you'll have access to extra perks including early access to each and every video before they go live on YouTube. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.